Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on Monday visited the army base that was hit by a Hezbollah drone attack, vowing that his country will continue to strike Hezbollah without compassion in every part of Lebanon, including in Beirut. The attack on the base in northern Israel killed four soldiers, all of them 19 years old, and severely wounded seven others in the deadliest strike by the militant group since Israel launched its ground invasion of Lebanon nearly two weeks ago. A total of 61 people were wounded in Sunday's attack. Hezbollah has fired thousands of rockets, missiles and drones into Israel over the past year but most have been intercepted or hit in open areas, disrupting daily life but causing few casualties. אנחנו נלחמים במערכה קשה נגד ציר הרשע של איראן שגמר עומר להשמידנו. הם לא יצליחו בזה. אנחנו ממשיכים להילחם. אנחנו משלמים מחירים כואבים, אבל יש לנו הישגים אדירים, ואנחנו נמשיך להשיג אותם. ואני רוצה להבהיר, אנחנו נמשיך לעקוד בחיזבאללה ללא רחם, בכל חלקי לבנון, גם בביירות. הכל לפי שיקולים מבצעיים. הוכחנו זאת בתקופה האחרונה, ונמשיך להוכיח זאת גם בימים הקרובים. In Israel, a military base in the Binyamina area was struck by a drone airstrike on October 13. As a result of the attack, four soldiers were killed, and seven others were injured, reports the Israel Defense Forces. That night, the Israeli military clarified the details of drone attack, when one of the drones launched by Hezbollah struck a gathering of people, resulting in dozens of injuries. On Sunday, a UAV launched by the Hezbollah terrorist organization hit an army base adjacent to Binyamina, the Israel Defense Forces stated. The Israel Defense Forces reported that during the incident, four Israel Defense Forces soldiers were killed in the incident and an additional seven were severely injured. It is noted that all the injured were evacuated to hospitals for medical assistance. The Israel Defense Forces also stated that an investigation is underway regarding the incident. According to Israel's Megan David Adam Emergency Service, a total of 61 people were wounded in the attack. It was later revealed that Hezbollah militants used kamikaze drones known as Mirsad, referred to in Iran as Ababal T. One of these drones could not be shot down, it disappeared from radar and subsequently hit a military target. Hezbollah said it had targeted the Golani Brigade, an infantry unit of the Israel Defense Forces that has been deployed in southern Lebanon. The claim of responsibility for the attack came shortly after the militant group released an audio message from its slain leader Hassan Nasrallah calling on its members to defend your people, your family, your nation, your values and your dignity. Hezbollah said it had fired dozens of rockets toward the northern Israeli towns of Nahariya and Acre to engage Israel's air defense systems, while simultaneously launching the drone swarm. These drones broke through the Israel defense radars without detection and reached its target at the training camp of the elite Golani Brigade in Binyamina, Hezbollah said.